Welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending March 16th, 2018. Oh man, do we have some news this week. New anime are busting out all over! First off, to my shock and joy, you're not gonna believe this, um, um, yeah, uh, Boogie Pop is back, baby, celebrating the 20th anniversary of this psychological anime fran or franchise, uh, a new anime series will launch this year, and here's what it'll look like, it'll have a new cast of voice actors, and interestingly, almost all of the major staff, director, chief writer, character designer, worked on One Punch Man. Not sure who, who looked at that show and said, you know, hey, hire them for Boogie Pop. It's weird. Um, but that's not all. Boogie Pop is also getting two new manga in Japan. Uh, one's an adaptation of the Versus Imaginator storyline, and the other's an adaptation of the origin story Boogie Pop at Dawn, which is pretty darn cool. So lots more Boogie Pop coming soon. Uh, as if that wasn't enough, Seven Seas will be bringing out the first six uh, light novels in the Boogie Pop, Boogie Pop franchise in the U.S. They will squeeze them into two volumes in print. Um, one containing the first three light novels and the second containing the other three, which kind of makes sense. While you'll be able to buy them individually on digital services, so six individual volumes digitally. Seven Seas published four of these some years ago, but had to cancel the line due to lack of sales. So it's back, which is pretty darn cool. Uh, okay. I think that's enough Boogie Pop news to satisfy even the most diehard fan, I think. But it is not the only new anime, uh, anime announcement. Sunrise uh, clarified earlier news around Tiger and Bunny. A new anime TV series in the franchise will come out this year titled Double Decker, Doug, and Kirill. Not only that, this buddy cop style detective show will be just one part of a larger Tiger and Bunny anime project. Who knows what that means? Much of the prior staff is returning. For Shon uh, From Shonen aimed at an older audience to Shonen aimed at a younger one, um, the card fight Vanguard train just keeps running, with Bushiroad announcing uh, not just one, but... Uh, two, oh, that's interesting. Um, but two new anime series. One looks to be another main entry in the franchise, while the second will be, will be based on the um, mermaid idols of the Bermuda Triangle in the show. Mermaid idols. Can't even make, can't even make a joke here. Anyway, we won't be able to judge it for quite a while. It is scheduled to debut in winter of 2019. So, a little ways to go on that. Um... Oops, sorry. Uh, anyway, we're still not done with new anime announcements. PA Works revealed they're working on a new fairy tale anime series called Irodoku Sekai no Ashitakara, or From the Color Changing Worlds Tomorrow. Yes, it's anime. It'll be directed by Toshio Shinohara of A Lull in the Sea, Black Butler, and The Book of Bantora, with Fly of Kimono Friends designing the characters. That looks beautiful. Can't wait to see what that uh, turns out to be. Meanwhile, uh, okay, yeah, so that's the end of the new anime announcements, except for this one. Um, anime Central, the convention, um, uh, announced that it will screen the, oops, um, whoa, one second. Uh, it'll screen for the first time a new short that film that reboots Gunsmith Cats, originally a manga, uh, the OVA was released fairly early on in America and centers on two female bounty hunters in modern Chicago. Well, modern as of when it was made in the 90s. Um, it was remarkable for being a manga and anime set in America accurately. Should be interesting to see where that goes. New short anime film rebooting it, which is quite interesting. Um, <clears throat> uh, finally, let's see here, um, one second. Actually, not quite finally. Uh, need to pull this up. Having some slight visual images uh, issues here. There we go. Um, also, a new anime announced this week was uh, Black Fox. Not much is known about this particular anime series, just sort of a key visual here. It's kind of kill a kill-ish. Uh, we'll be coming from a, a group called, I believe, Three Hertz in Japan. So, who knows what that is. Yes, more new anime coming. Um, finally, uh, Kyoto Animation fans finally have a date for the premiere of Kyoto Animation's Violet Evergarden. Uh, which we've been waiting for for quite a while, the new anime by the legendary studio uh, 
behind Haruhi Suzumiya, Keon, Free, and Sound Euphonium has been locked behind a Japanese-only wall for months. But now we know that not, not only will it be available to North American viewers April 5th, it is listed as Season 1. Very interesting. So that's the news for the week. Thank you for watching. I hope to see you guys next week.